Finally getting back to some Bengo free agent action. Things are starting to ramp up across the league. I'm the Bengal Genius. Welcome to the show. You know what's going on. Big moves in Bengal land today. I'm going to give you a quick rundown on what I think it's going to mean for them. Okay, first the good news. We got our boy Jermaine Pratt back. The guy has been an outstanding linebacker. Now we're going to have him, and then we're also going to have Loke. We signed to a three-year deal, very team-friendly. It was a, It's a good deal. So both teams are, uh, both parties are making out on this. It's a true definition of a win-win situation. Now we will have Logan Wilson another year as well. Next year uh, it'll be dicey. So definitely expect them to address linebacker in the draft. But we did lose guys, but this was to be expected. Finally, Von Bell is gone. Great job. I love you, man. Von Bell, of course, kicked off the Zach Taylor dynasty by laying out that one guy for the used to play for the Steelers that loves to do the TikTok videos. I don't even remember his name because he was just a eh player, but uh, Von Bell, I, everyone was kind of iffy on Zach Taylor. I know I had his bags packed. Pac-Man Jones was had his bags packed. And then Von Bell laid him out, and they dominated Pittsburgh, and that's when you saw the new culture finally starting to sprout and uh we, that was it that that was it so uh great job from him and of course we lost jesse bates now this was to be expected this is why they drafted dax hill so there's no surprise here i mean let's be honest guys this is what's going to happen when you get studs and you're going to have to rank where you know where you're going to have your strengths and weaknesses at now this takes a lot of money out of the secondary specifically the safety position and I expect them to, of course, Dax Hill's going to start. And then look for a guy like Taylor Rapp from the Rams, possibly. Or there's a bunch of mid-tier guys uh, at safety. But let's have a little faith in Lou here. And remember, the best way still for this team to go right now is building up that offensive line. So what I'm hoping is they take some of that money and sprinkle it in the offensive line. And right now, that is the edge that the Chiefs have over us at this moment. They went out immediately. They lost the starter, and they went out and got Jawan Taylor, the right tackle out of Jacksonville, because they're not playing around, and that's where they put a huge focus on that, and the Bengals need to do that as well. So I want, I'm going to say it again, I'm going to say it all the way up until the kickoff, We got the Bengals got to have quality offensive line depth and upgrades. We got to upgrade that right tackle position. Uh, Lyle Collins definitely looked like he lost a step, and the injuries are adding up. And, of course, in the draft, you know I want my man Cody Mock out of North Dakota State, but I don't want to trust it to a rookie. I don't want unproven guys. I don't want to wait on anybody. We have to build things up and get this tight and right so we can protect Joe Burrow and he can hit all these weapons. Now, also, not signing those guys is going to help with the signings of T. Higgins and Joe Burrow, which I expect those signs to happen any minute, especially since the news came out about, I don't know what, I've never seen that before. There was a tweet about the NFLPA was basically ripping on the Bengals, something to do with insurance. I haven't dug into the details of that yet because I don't know too much about any of that stuff, so... But it seems like a lot of anti bengal sentiment coming from somewhere. And it was interesting, right before free agency doing this, hmm, suspect. So someone's on my list. I'm going to find out uh, who did what. Um, but all you guys are panicking on Twitter. Do not panic, okay? This is what the Bengals do, and they have been outstanding in all areas of free agency and drafting, except for the offensive line. They let and, and they did a great job last year. Kappa and Karras were, mwah, you know, they just had them injuries. And Ky Collins was coming along too, but once again, the injury bugs got him too. So hold tight. Don't panic. Remember, man, these guys, no elite guys get away from their team. Okay? Joe Burrow's not going anywhere, right? So don't go blowing a bunch of cash like a, you know, a, a divorced dad with his you know, is a tax return at a casino here, okay? Slow down and just, let's just take it nice and easy and let the free agency sort itself out and then we'll get the guys in and and uh, we'll fill where we need to fill. But we definitely got to address that offensive line and get some quality uh, secondary guys. So 
What about the rest of the league here? Yeah, there is some news. Uh, I thought it was interesting that the Rams are completely blowing themselves up. That's a team that really went in all went in all in to get that Super Bowl, and it paid off. I think one Super Bowl is worth it. I know in my forty two seasons, I would just kill for one Super Bowl. So I, I think it's worth it if you can go all in and pull that off. But you need a few lucky breaks. You know, teams try it when they do that. They're what they envision is two years of that, and it completely fell apart last year with all the injuries that mounted up. So. Cooper Cup is now in Denver, and I like Sean Payton and all that, but uh, at this point, uh, Russell Wilson's doucheness has outgained his uh, greatness, and that ain't going to happen for those guys. So it's cute. They like to hustle, though. They really do try in Denver. I mean, they want to win Super Bowls, and they do attack it. I just don't think this uh, shake of the Yahtzee Cup is going to work out for those guys. So keep trying. Patrick Peterson, the once great, cornerback sign with the Steelers they're trying to do everything they can to slow down the Bengals unstoppable uh, wide receiver core but uh, if this would be a great signing if it was 2016 but here in 2023 he's 32 years old uh, personally I don't like my supermodels or my cornerbacks after the age of 30 so try again Pittsburgh you guys are in shambles good you deserve it. The Packers-Jets deal, I said that this wouldn't happen. They are saying that it's on the verge of happening, but I still don't buy it. I think Aaron Rodgers likes messing around with people, and I just can't see him going to the New York Jets. But if he does, it's going to be yet another great QB in the AFC that we'll have to deal with. So, But that's all right. We know how to handle him. So let's get it on. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Bengal Genius Show. More to come. There's going to be a lot of action coming up. Let's get ready for the Um, Who that? Man, y'all need to start tuning in to the YouTube channel, the Bengal Genius Show.